Hello YouTube, my name is Ricard Lino and I'm using the headphones and I'm not used to those so welcome to my second live stream using a proper camera hopefully the internet is good today so let's roll that intro and see what's coming next <laughs> And I'm back. So the goal today, after putting this soundtrack playing for us, the goal today with this live stream on YouTube is to tell you where I'm coming in the end of the month. So I'm come. I'm gonna make a, a trip to South America. But yes, I would like to go to a lot of other countries other than I'm going. But I can't really complain because I was invited to go to Brazil and I'm gonna be in the, the zone, the region of Sao Paulo for about 10 days. And the reason why I'm going to the reason why I'm going to Sao Paulo, Brazil is skate, like I said before, but I'm gonna be doing like a marathon a marathon. I'm gonna be urban skating with the locals, I'm gonna be doing some workshops with roller skates, I'm gonna do my videos like with inline skates, like tri skates, and basically I'm gonna be skating for 10 days and I'm gonna try to make content for this channel. So that's it. <laughs> Wait, I got someone here. Someone, uh... <laughs> Sapien says that I should go to French what was it? French Guiana. I don't know what French Guiana is, man. What? What is it exactly? So, I'm. Eh, some people are saying that the internet is working better today. Yes, it seems like it's better today, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm still using this, which is my phone, to give me some faster connection, and I'm kind of struggling with the internet. Huh? It's slow. It's expensive and it's my only way to do these live streams if i don't use my phone i'm not able to do it anyway the reason <laughs> people are asking me if i want to come to austria yes i would love like i would love to go to Aust austria again i love austria and it's basically my first ever skate cover was it my first yeah my first ever skate cover was shot in Vienna, Austria. That negative acid that was on the cover of BMAC that was shot in Vienna at I think it was like 8 a.m. and it was right before I jumped in the train to to Budapest. By the time I was living in Budapest, I was no, not in Budapest, I was living in Gyor, which is in between Vienna and Budapest and I was studying there for two years so I used to go to Budapest or to Vienna quite often and in one of these Vienna trips, I saw this spot and I said I would love to skate it, but it was like a skate event, it was like in a skate competition. So, I don't know man, I was kind of feeling judged, I don't know if that makes sense, I was scared of being judged or whatever, so I just didn't felt good to skate that rail that day, so what I ended up doing, I was just like with a few friends and one of them was a photographer for BMAC, Philip Forstner. And I said like let's come here in the morning and I'll do it. And I wanted to do a negative acid on that big drop. I don't think I don't even know. It's like a 22 stair rail with a drop, like a square rail. And that was it. We got there around 7 in the morning. I ended up landing the trick and at 9 a.m. I was in the train on my way to Hungary. So yes, I love I really love Austria and I only have like good things from Austria to say so. <laughs> it, it would be a place I would like to go but the truth is right now it's really cold, cold and it's gonna get really cold in Austria so I think South America is going to be really really good not that I can't complain because right now in South Africa the summer is about to start even if it's raining today and if you saw my ramp that I built last week I have that thin layer of mesonite on top and every time it rains, I go like, no, my money, that's my investment. 
<laughs> I had to pay for that thing, no one paid for that, so I bought some plastics and I put it on top, so my, my wife ate it. Ate it. My, my wife says that my house looked like <laughs> a get, something in the ghetto because just like there's a ramp and I'm full of plastic and I put pieces of wood and tiles and pieces of metal on top. It looks really, really bad, especially when it rains. But when it's not raining, I rolled up that plastic and then it's like perfect ramp. So let's hope that the rain outside today, it's not killing my ramp. Uh, <laughs> yes, Rollins will be sick in February. February is also the month from Winter Clash. I might have news for you soon about Winter Clash, about me and Winter Clash, but I can't really, I can't really tell them yet. What I can say is there will be news soon, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I said that already that I'm going to Brazil, and I've been trying to to choose. Basically, I'm thinking of bringing three pairs of skates. I want to bring a pair of roller skates because I'm going to be doing workshops and when it comes to roller skates, for me there's only one skate that I want to use because it was the one that I designed and it's the one that I believe it's made for what I do. So it's the Kaya Karma and it has like a grind block, it's a supportive, it's low but a supportive boot. So for that, like for roller skate, I know what I'm going to bring, which is the Kaya Karma skate. Then, there's, I need to bring two other skates. I need to bring a skate for park, but like an aggressive skate. But I don't know if I want to bring like a, a typical aggressive skate. So, I might bring a skate with a Trimax frame because I really love the three wheels and I love the type of things that I can do. Not that I can and no one else can't, it's like that allows me to do with the three wheels. Yes, I'm limited into some other tricks, kind of like some grinds and all that, but at the same time, that Trimax frame from Kaiser, like I love it. And yes, I was also in the designing of that thing, but I really do love it. I don't skate it with one tens, I know that that frame is made for one tens, I skated it with 100 millimeters, and I didn't skate it for like a month. And then yesterday I put a pair of skates together, the, the USD sways again, and I, man, I love those things. Like the way you can slide on the core pipes and all that. I guess that would be my second pair. It's in between those or a pair of AMs. But I mean AMs, I would bring, I don't know if I would bring the 60s or the 72s. More and more and more I start feeling that the 60s are too small for me. I already use small wheels on the roller skates because I can't go big on roller skates at least for now. So I don't know. It's in between one of these three skates, but at the moment I'm more into the USD suede with the Trimax frames and 100 millimeter wheels. So we got two pairs of skates right now, but I need the third pair of skates to bring. And the third pair of skates, it's in my opinion the one that I'm gonna be using the most. And I need to decide, I don't really know. It's like I have three pairs of skates that I love to use with that free skate look and that I can change frames and all that and that would be the Imperial that I use a lot. Then there's the, the Artcore Evo skate which has the same mount as the Imperial but it's a stiffer boot but if I'm gonna use it for downhill, I love this boot so much. And then I have a Kase which is a tribe it's a different system, you know, it's just the Trinity system, it's cool. My only problem with the Trinity system at the moment is that I don't have a downhill, like a super long downhill frame. I know that a lot of people love the 125 and I used to love it a lot too, but if it's a lower frame, will allow me to, if I go into a really, how do you call it? really tight turns downhill that I go really fast and I need to slide but like in and control it I feel like I control it better with a little bit lower to the ground in the long base I could get a long frame as a 125 with 125 but it, it feels a little bit too high and there's not enough grip for some slides so for that reason the a the, the Trinity skate is out but then if I'm gonna be doing a marathon 
for the Trinity, I have a 3x125 with a long frame, the ones that I used in the Berlin Marathon. So that gets me thinking. Then for the other two skates, which have the 165 mount, which is the Power Slide Imperial and the Power Slide Hardcore Evo 2, on these two, I can use the same frames. In both, in all these three skates, I can use an off-road frame, and I want to bring an off-road skate too. I want to bring an off-road frame, but as a 165, I don't have one long frame that I can use for a marathon because I have a one long frame, something like this. Let me show you. I have something like this, but this is a 195 mount. So <laughs> I hope I don't get it. Don't end up taking like four pairs of skates because I'm like three pairs be good because I want to bring like drones and I have a lot of gimbals now. I don't know if I told you, but the other day, yeah, I, I told you that I used some gimbal on that downhill video, but um, what happened was. I was at the shop here the other day and some woman came to buy some some roller skates and her husband is one of the distributors for for a gimbal brand called Giant Tech which is basically in my opinion one of the best it's not because I'm getting them for free now it's really because they're the best I, I had a, I had already like one Giant Tech for my bigger camera and when he was here, she asked me something and I ended up showing her a video so that she could learn how to do that thing that she wanted, which was how to stop on roller skates. And then when they left, apparently her husband went and saw the channel and then he came back and he said like, you know what, I have this company that sells lights and we also have some, some gimbals that maybe you would like to use. And, and then I said, I, I would love it, but like, you know, if, you, if you're in a shop, like I am all day and a lot of people end up coming here and a lot of people say that they want this, this and that and a lot of times things don't happen but later that day Toby, Tobias, 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 I don't know, Tobias maybe he showed up with three different gimbals for all my cameras basically I already had the gimbal for the biggest camera and he, he had two gimbals, one for the phone one for the GoPro and one for my vlogging camera so basically I don't think I'm gonna yep Dire Wolfie this is live we are recording it right now I'm just we're just talking about my trip to, Bra to Brazil and what I'm going to to bring with me so I'm just saying right now that I'm, I'm thinking of bringing like <laughs> I'm thinking of bringing like Drones, gimbals, three sets of skates, which I don't know what skates is it. Yes, Diego, really? É mesmo? Vou ao Brasil. <laughs> Diego, <laughs> queres falar em português? No. So, for now, I'm not going to be talking in Portuguese, but in my Brazilian trip, I plan on vlogging or making these videos a lot in Portuguese. Yes, if I'm going to be making my videos in Portuguese, I will, I will need to put subtitles and this is already killing a lot of my time. Like I love this, I love doing this, but it's already taking a lot of my time. So in Brazil, in those 10 days that I'm going to be away, which is from the 24th of this month till the 2nd or 3rd, 3rd till the 3rd of December, I'm going to be like working all day, which is like, but I mean working, yes, skating is my job too, so I'm going to be skating a lot going to be doing my my other work that I can do online and then I'm going to be editing a lot and when I mean edit I still need to do subtitles for all the videos so if there's someone out there that wants to help me making subtitles for these videos from Portuguese to English I would really really appreciate it because yes Diego, vou a São, vou a São Paulo I'm going to São Paulo, Diego was asking so as I was saying at the moment I was having this conversation with my wife today and I don't know if you have an idea but 24 hours it's 
not enough for me. I'm gonna tell you what happened to me this morning and then I'm gonna explain you why this happened. So basically my scooter, the one that you saw me a lot of times, is broken. I'm waiting for it to get fixed, it's broken, it doesn't matter. It was raining and I couldn't skate to work, so I ordered an Uber. The Uber picked me up, I got to the shop, to the office. Guess what? I had no keys for the office. I had to go back home, got the keys, came back here. Why did I say this? Well, the reason why I say it about these that happened to me this morning is it's happening a lot. I was already really, really bad with memory. I need to write everything on this thing called phone. <laughs> and I need to ask a lot of people to remind me things and whatever. So if, if you ever talk to me and if I ever said something and if I didn't do it, I'm really sorry. My memory is bad, it's really, really bad. And this is not helping. So what's happening is basically I'm doing all these videos, trying to make a video almost every day for all of you guys, trying to make, that's also why I'm making these live streams now, but at the same time I also need to run a shop, so a lot of times I need to answer phone calls, I send emails and make the promos for the shop, and basically it's another job that I'm taking. Other than the face, the YouTube thing, which is also like I already said, as a job, it's not really paying me. I do it because I love it, and I believe that in the future it's going to pay me. And yes, I'm not doing it because of that. I love doing it, and I love doing it for skating. But also, being as honest as I can, I do believe that in the future I'm going to be making. I'm not. I'm never going to be rich from making an inline skating YouTube channel, but doesn't really matter second job shop and YouTube then other than that the main job is what I do with power slide I work with marketing and product development that's my main job that's how I, I get paid so we're talking about three jobs and then I still do freelance video and the most important thing sometimes I end up leaving it behind and I hate this and that's my family so something needs to change and that's one of the reasons also why I'm doing these live streams because it's it gives me a little bit more time not now because it takes me so long to organize all these to make this work but I believe that it's going to to work Carrasco, como é que é? There's this guy right here commenting this video right now his name is Ruben Duarte you guys give props to Ruben because Ruben Carrasco is a really good friend of mine from a long time he used to skate with me back in Portugal and when I opened the shop he was the first person he, he works with like um, doing online shops and he was always like a computer geek like a fully computer geek and he was the first person that came to me like came to me and said like if you need any any help with a shop with setting a shop online I'm here and you know what I didn't do it I've been in contact with him, it's been more than one year that the shop is opened physically and we don't have an online shop. And he's the one coming to me the whole time and the reason why this is happening is because of my time management being so bad. So, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, computer programming, not a computer geek, I'm sorry Ruben. <laughs> I didn't do it, desculpa, <laughs> So, the thing is, <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm gonna. That's something that you should know. From January, I'm gonna have someone here helping me with all my <laughs> jobs. So hopefully, my life will become a little bit easier, and I'll have a lot more time for my family, which should be coming first. And sometimes I can't because of all these things that I just told you. And I guess that's it. <laughs> I hope. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> so let me see where are people watching this from so I have someone that says from the end of the world Sean where are you from Sean I just have like <laughs> ah you should go to a roller ring sometime yeah Dar Wolfie already said this a few times to me I should go to a roller ring you know what there's not one single roller rink in Cape Town at the moment. There's two in Johannesburg, but 
Johannesburg, which is the capital of South Africa, it's 1,800 kilometers away. So that's about the distance in between Lisbon and Paris, and that's about halfway from yeah, it's halfway from San Francisco to New York or from New York to San Francisco. We'll get you to Kansas. <laughs> so I guess yeah. I would love to go to a roller rink, but there's a ice skating rink not too far from me. They have a skate shop and I went there the other day and I was really really disappointed because they have two they had two skates in the middle of a super big open space and like the skates were looking bad and I think it's like really a bad image for skating and sometimes I feel like it's, it's wrong, but I did it too, like my shop like a few weeks ago was really really bad So I don't know, sometimes it's bad for skating. I guess my internet is not, it's starting to, to lag a little bit It's green, I see a green dot in there, but we'll see <laughs> What killed your outdoor wheels? Someone said that killed my outdoor wheels ah, Sorry that I'm looking to this side, the reason why I'm looking to this side is because my computer is on this side yeah, the leg is alright. Okay, sorry about that. Got Landon. Landon is watching this too, commenting. <laughs> I help you with design, bro. That's sick. So, Landon, if you saw my last downhill video, that was a fast skateboarder. They call him, we, we call him Crazy Chap. Crazy Chap is Landon, is this guy. He's basically one of the fastest downhill guys in Cape Town, and he's like, it's fast man, go and watch that video, there's a full run of a skateboarder with a really weird super aerodynamic helmet, that's Landon, you'll see him. And he's like, he's a, a graphic designer, he does amazing stuff and it's cool that he's telling me that he helps me too, so thank you, thank you so much man, like, I don't know if you've seen, I'm sure you've seen it if you're looking at this online. If you're looking at this right now as a live stream, I'm sure that you're subscribing to the channel. So that intro that I got was done by Tino and Tino is the animator that works here at the skate park where I am right now so I did pay him for that intro obviously but I love what he does and I should probably just put like a link in the description of this video please remind me like I said my memory is bad remind me of putting like a link to Tino's job Tino's work because his stuff is really really cool <laughs> and maybe I should do something like that with Landon like, like Landon does cool stuff I know that he has these let me see let me see if I can find I, Landon what's the name of your your designing Instagram you have like a an Instagram account just for your your draws can you just write it down so that people can see it on the comments um, and that's it so just to finish this just an update on, of what's happening here at the Shred Skate Park in Cape Town. The ball is growing. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna post the picture today. After after finishing this video, I'm going out there and I'm gonna take a picture of the ball. So if you guys are not watch, not following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me because I'm gonna post the picture of the ball today on Instagram. It's just it's looking so sick. I'm so excited. I love skating ball. I've been skating like with 72 skates like on just around the park and even with the Trimax like I said before in this video I think I'm gonna skate a lot with the Trimax with 100 millimeters on that ball it's looking so sick I can't I don't even want to grind you know I just want to carve that thing it's going fast <laughs> yeah I should be someone is saying that I should go speed skate with Pascal yeah Pascal used to be like he still is a long time. Pascal Brien, for those who don't know, he was on the original speed skating of Salomon, speed skating team from Salomon. He's a French guy. He, the first times that I competed as on the Portuguese speed skating team in senior, I was still like 15 and I was competing with the big guys. And Pascal was European champion and he did one of the best races I've ever seen. And since then, like Pascal used to be like, I used to be, he used to be a hero for me, and he still is. It's cool to talk to him the way that I do nowadays. When I see him, like we're like friends, 
which is cool and that at the Berlin Marathon we were supposed to do something together but you know what he does marathons like the whole time and I don't even know like my last marathon before that were like two, was like 20 years ago after the marathon I was dead the Polish guys took me to this place where we stayed uh, Mirek from Edon Skate Shop and Lukas they both took me to the bread and breakfast place where we stayed and I cooked I, I completely I was knocked out I fell asleep like I'm sorry Pascal if you're watching this like I was supposed to go skate with Pascal I just couldn't but it ended up raining anyway I just but I need I need to do something with Pascal for those of you who don't know Pascal here is like he also has a YouTube channel he's right now on the way to Japan I think and he is amazing if you want to learn about skating speed skating skating fast even roller derby he also plays roller derby and he he posts a lot of roller derby videos so make sure that you you look for Pascal here and the way you spell it is P A S C A L P R I A N D I think that's it Pascal Brian so make sure that you follow his you go to his channel and you'll see a lot of really cool content the other day he had a video about the double push how you should use your your shoulder and you know what, I, like I said in this video before, one minute ago, I used to compete in speed skating, I used to represent Portugal, the Portuguese team in speed skating, and I didn't knew about the shoulder. I saw that video at night, the next day skating back to work, just put my hands in my back, and there I was, doing my double push, and with the opposite shoulder that I thought, I was just spinning it, twisting my, my body, so that my my opposite shoulder of what I knew before was going in the, basically the opposite direction and that makes a huge difference while skating again, go watch Pascal videos and then you'll see what I'm saying just try <laughs> it's actually awesome and he's, he's using a lot of like drones and stuff like really cool technology nowadays for his videos not, I don't think he's abusing of those he also has some 360 videos so Landon just, that just said that is Instagram with his design, his crazy Jap designs. So just like crazy Jap from Jap Japanese, crazy Jap designs all together. Pascal Briand, yes, yes, Dara, Pascal Briand. I think that's how I said, right? Did I say anything wrong? I think I did enough. Huh? It's cool because I was looking at the other, like also talking about Pascal. I was looking at his suit and he was he has a suit the, the speed skating suit that he skate the most time it's still the Salomon he keeps that Salomon suit a lot and he was skating with that Salomon suit and he, I thought it was funny because Salomon doesn't make skates anymore and also in that same suit they have Saab and from what I know Saab doesn't make cars anymore so damn it if there's any other brand in that suit <laughs> tried to get out of that suit because everything in that suit seems to be dying man <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense uh, having time for live streams would be yeah it's Sean Sean that's exactly what I thought so Sean is just saying maybe because I've been so busy doing live streams could be a way for me to get rid of some time it's true it's true i wish the the south african internet was faster it's it's really something that i struggle but you know what it is what it is i'm trying to deal with it like i said in this video i'm using my phone as a router as a lte advanced router and it's in this video is working you guys tell me is it working or not it seems like to me i don't know if the sound is good or not but <laughs> Okay guys, I think I've been doing this for a little bit longer than I expected, huh? So, I don't even know for how long I've been doing this. Let me check if I can. Can someone help me here for how long have we been doing this? <laughs> I have no idea for how long we've been doing this. So if someone can tell me, <laughs> I would love to know. Anyway, I don't think it really matters. I think... I'm happy with what we did today, it did work. I could tell you guys that I'm coming to Brazil and now what I'm gonna do is the last two minutes on, of this video, I'm gonna do it in Portuguese. I'm sorry the, that there's no subtitles but it, there's no way for me to, 
to get it translated right away. So I'm gonna finish this video in Portuguese. Para toda a gente do Brasil que tiver a ver este vídeo até agora, quero, quero vos dizer a todos que vai ser um prazer patinar com, com todos vocês. Faz muito, muitos anos que quero conhecer o Brasil e, e normalmente sempre pelo mesmo motivo, pelos patinadores que conheço do Brasil. Portanto, quero sobretudo agradecer à Rolling Sports, que é a loja e a distribuidora da Power Slide que me, que me vai ajudar nesta viagem ao Brasil. E estou, estou ansioso por, por vos conhecer a todos e por patinar convosco. Não interessa em que patins seja, não interessa se vai ser patinagem de velocidade, se vamos patinar pelas ruas, se vai ser com os roller skates, no skate park. Estou aqui, quero aprender convosco, quero que vocês aprendam comigo e quero que vocês façam parte deste meu canal, que é o canal do mundo dos patins. E acho que é isto. Uh, a quem estiver a ver este vídeo, peço que provavelmente já subscreve, mas o, a forma que me podem ajudar será partilhar este vídeo e dizer aos vossos amigos para subscreverem este canal para ver o que é que se vai passar no Brasil e não se esqueçam de dar um like na página se gostarem, se não gostarem deem-me um unlike, mas digam porquê. <risos> e mais importante que tudo, por favor nunca se esqueçam porque é que começaram, porque é divertido e é por isso que todos nós patinamos e por agora é tudo. <risos> Thank you, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But most important than anything else, even if you're not subscribing, just don't forget why we all started skating. Because it's fun. Cheers, guys. See you soon.